Did you know that the average person loses around $1,500 a year due to friends negatively impacting their finances? That's a staggering amount of money. You might not even realize it, but having friends who unknowingly sabotage your financial well-being is more common than you think. It's not that they're deliberately trying to harm you, but their influence can lead you down a path of financial destruction. Welcome back to Empower and Thrive. Today we're tackling a difficult but crucial topic, friends that secretly destroy your finances. You heard that right. Sometimes, the people closest to us can unintentionally sabotage our financial goals. Stick around, because identifying these patterns can save you big time. Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about the compulsive spender. We all have that friend who loves to splurge on the latest gadgets, designer clothes, or extravagant dinners. Hanging out with them often means spending more than you planned. It's not their fault, they're just living their life. But it's essential to recognize this pattern and set boundaries. Try suggesting budget-friendly hangouts or even a fun free activity. Make a mental note to not spend so much. Cut back on purchases, cut back on food and drinks. Try on clothes, but don't buy them. It's all about balance. Next, we have the peer pressure pal. This friend may not realize it, but their constant invitations to expensive outings or their subtle comments about your spending habits can push you to overspend. Peer pressure isn't just for teenagers, it affects us all. Stay firm on your financial goals and remember, it's okay to say no or suggest alternatives that align with your budget. Friends might also make you feel guilty for not wanting to participate in expensive activities or not being able to afford the latest trends. They might make you feel like you're missing out on fun if you don't join them on their expensive adventures. But the truth is, these seemingly harmless activities can add up and put a huge dent in your wallet. For example, let's say your friends love to dine out at fancy restaurants every weekend. At first, it might not seem like a big deal, but if you're spending $100 every weekend, that's $5,200 a year. That's money that could have gone towards paying off your debt, building an emergency fund, or investing in your future. Next is the one-upper. Ever notice how some friends always try to outdo you? If you buy a new phone, they get a newer model. If you go on a vacation, they plan a more extravagant one. This constant competition can lead to financial stress. Instead of falling into the comparison trap, focus on your own financial journey and celebrate your progress. Let's say your friends convince you to take a luxury vacation every year. It might seem like a great way to relax and unwind, but the cost of that vacation could be equivalent to a year's worth of savings or investments. If you're not careful, these financial missteps can lead to long-term consequences, such as being stuck in debt, missing out on investment opportunities, or being unable to achieve your long-term financial goals. Next, let's talk about the moocher. This friend has their finances in order, maybe even saving over 30% of their income, but they always seem to rely on others to foot the bill for even small expenses like snacks and drinks. It's frustrating because while they're building their savings, they're doing it at your expense. It's important to recognize this pattern and gently address it. Suggest splitting costs or taking turns paying so the financial burden is shared more fairly. Finally, let's talk about the borrower. We all want to help our friends in need, but lending money can sometimes lead to strained relationships and financial strain for you. If you decide to lend, make sure it's an amount you can afford to lose. There is a good chance you won't get it back and it may come down to either losing your money or your friend. That can be a stressful position for both of you. Also, make sure and set clear repayment terms. Alternatively, offer non-monetary support like helping them find resources or budgeting advice. It's essential to recognize bad financial behaviors from your friends and take steps to protect your financial well-being. You can't control how your friends behave, but you can control how you respond to their influence. 
Remember, it's not about cutting ties with these friends, but about setting healthy boundaries to protect your finances. Surround yourself with people who respect your financial goals and support your journey. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep thriving.